Welcome to the Drake or Crosslink Web Service Electronic Filing Data Import. In this video, we'll explain how to import your EF and contact information data if you're a Drake or a Crosslink user. <clears throat> to begin with, on the home page, under Office Overview, you'll see in this example, Drake Web Service Electronic Filing Data Import. If you're a Crosslink user, Obviously, it would say Drake, or I'm sorry, Crosslink Web Service Electronic Filing Data Import. So all you're going to do is simply click on this link. You'll come to the EF Data Import page. You then click on the Import Drake or Crosslink EF Data. When you click on that link, it'll link up to Drake or Crosslink, and it'll import all the EF acknowledgments and also any contact information such as phone numbers, email address, spousal information. If you get an error message saying invalid password or ID, then you probably don't have the correct EFIN number on your admin sites page or the transmitter or the password is incorrect. So let's go to that page really quickly. Go to admin, sites, and right here where it has EFIN number, you want to make sure your EFIN number is properly recorded here. And then the EFIN password, that would be the password given to you by Drake or Crosslink. And I believe Crosslink calls it a transmitter ID or transmitter password. Over here in this far right column, EF Data Systems, you should have Drake or Crosslink entered here. If you don't, then you need to contact Adam Support uh, unless you are not a Drake or Crosslink user, then it's supposed to be blank. So this is, video is only for Drake or Crosslink users. So once you click on this link, the data will automatically import in. If there are any EF acknowledgments, you can do this from any office. If you have 10 offices, any office could select it, any individual could select it. It's not going to harm anything. It's not going to slow anything down. Now, if you're not a Drake or Crosslink user and you would rather not even have this visible, what you want to do is go to your admin and go to your security group permissions. And this column, allow EF data import. If I select the edit pencil and I uncheck that box, now I go back to my home page and now it's, it's no, no longer displaying. So I'd recommend doing that if you're not a Drake or Crosslink user, just there's no reason to have it display there and cause any confusion amongst your employees. I'm going to go back and put it back there. Let's go to Admin, Security Group Permissions, select the Edit Pencil. And as you see, in our office, we actually have everybody able to select that because, again, it's not harming anything. So if you want to make sure your receptionist if their client calls in and asks, where's my refund, to make sure that the latest EF data has been imported in, that's why we allow the receptions to also view that link. So you can do it right here. You could also click on the link if you're in the Awaiting IRS Acknowledgements Office event page. We have the link right here also. And this is where the EF data will flow in and also inside the client file if you're a Drake user. If I go into Theodore's file here, down under the EF database section where all the EF data is kept, there's another link right here, import the most current Drake EF data for this client. Now this is unique just for Drake, Crosslink doesn't have this link here. And what this is, the special features this has is if for some reason um, when you selected the one, the link the web service link on the home page, that's pulling all the EF data for all your clients. There's a possibility it could time out if you're pulling an, uh, a large quantity of data. If that's the case, what you need to do if you think that the data did not flow over for some individual clients, if you come into their file, select this link, this is only pulling it for that particular client and it would actually go back and capture any data that did not pull in from the main home page when you selected that. So if you ever have a case where you believe something didn't get updated properly, go into the client file and then select the import the most current direct EF data for this client link and that would pull that in. And that's all I have regarding the web service electronic filing data import. Thank you.